In this video, I'm going to show you how not to get scammed when buying a Category U car. Hey everyone and welcome to today's episode. So just to let you know, we still have the Corsa here and the reason for that is because my garage of choice or my body shop of choice um, came back with a really high price to repair the car, which I couldn't agree to so I have two other backup body shops who have stepped into the frame and one of them is going to be able to do it unfortunately he can't do it for another week or so because of jobs that he's got piled up but the price he came back with was less than half the price of the one that got quoted so I'm willing to wait in the meantime there's a couple of jobs I need to do on the car that I found since um, looking at the car last week and I really want to get them right so the new owner has absolutely nothing to do when he takes the car away. So while we're waiting for the uh, courses to go into the body shop, I thought it's time for me to go and start looking for my next project car. And really the next project car, I want to be a sporty car that we're gonna be able to do up, add some bits and pieces onto it, and we can review the products that we're going to be used. Because that's really part of what this channel is about. So it's about repairing salvage cars, but also we wanna have a theme project car that you, you as viewers can take a look at and join me in the journey of making this car better than what it was when I first got here. So I decided this week to take a trip to my local coal park, my Westbury branch, to take a look at three cars that are potential. One of them is a potential project car. The other two were opportunity cars that I was going to look at. And if you can recall from last week's episode, when we spoke about some of the hazards you need to look out for on a Category U car. In this video, I'm gonna show you a Category U car that had I bought it, would have caused me huge issues in terms of having to repair it. So let's take a look at three cars that I saw this week that were potential good buy cars that I saw viewing on my local Westbury branch. And then I took the opportunity to go and have a look at it. So we're gonna take a look at the car first of all on Copar, and then we're gonna see if there's anything in those images that we've seen that would indicate a problem. And then we're gonna see the video in the flesh of the car and see what the issues were, if any. But then you're gonna see the scam car and why this car would have been a bad buy. Okay, so let's take a look at the screen now and we're going to take a look at our first car that uh, we had a look at when we went to Westbury. Okay, so the first car is one of uh, Rob's special from our friend at uh, Salvage Rebuild UK's um, Sophia 500. So I, I saw this car and uh, online and I thought, wow, it's a pretty looking good car. And I put my bids in and if you notice, my highest bid was £750, which I thought was a good price for this car. Okay, so looking at the pictures now, you can see that the car has minimal damage. There is a little bit of damage down here. It's not even down, it's, it's a scrape. It's where someone has scraped the car. There's one here as well. I'm gonna put the picture in HD. You can probably see it on the left. There you go. You can see the scratches on the side there. And that looks like there could be a little dent there as well. Um, airbags have been deployed. So I can see that the passenger, uh, the um, main, um, steering wheel bag has been deployed and you can just also see on this side here that the passenger one has been deployed as well but other than that it looks okay from these pictures can't really see much more back seat looks clean engine bay is tidy um, so the fact that all three or well, both airbags have been deployed tells me that the legs on this car could possibly be dented, so we need to check those because that's where the sensor is. Car's done 84,000 miles. We can see that it's running. And while it's running, we're looking for any lights. So we can see definitely the airbag one, which we would expect. Um, but other than that, there is no other lights, no engine lights, etc., on that will cause us of any concern. The damage, primary damage, we can see is a front bumper here. But like I said, we really need to see the legs on the car to make sure they're not bent because if they are bent, that's gonna cost additional money to put right. We can see the scratch here again, highlighted uh, in, in more detail. 
so it's really a scrape we may get away with just buffing that out um, but it's superficial damage and then we have the um, chassis the um, tag number on the vehicle okay so let's take a look at the vehicle in the flesh now and let's see what we found when we went and did our initial uh, viewing okay so if you look on screen now you should be able to see the Fiat 500 so as we can see we can see the front is definitely damaged as we saw um, now here's something we didn't see windscreen is damaged so we need to replace the windscreen now let's take a look inside just to make sure that everything is as we expect it to be so the interior is okay there's no smells in the car I'm very conscious of smelly cars after having the Seat Leon um, as we expected we can see that the airbag has been deployed um, I'm just checking the plastic trim to see if anything else has been pushed around um, and yeah so the passenger airbag that's been deployed so we're gonna need a new dashboard for this car as I expected now, this car is a lounge model so it comes with the uh, glass roof it's not a sunroof so you can't open it it's just a skylight roof which is pretty desirable um, as well now this is the important thing we need to check the legs so we're going to lift the bonnet up and check the legs so there's the left leg and that is pretty straight there's no deformations in that and the other leg is exactly the same as well so we know the impact is going to be in the front crash bar which is easy to replace the radiator is uh, buckled has been pushed back which confirms that the crash bar has been um, dented in so that definitely will be having to replace that we may have to replace the radiator although it did have water in the uh, header tank but we need to make sure that the car um, holds water just checking the body now to make sure there's no other dents or anything the wheels are scraped but that's more parking rash rather than an incident taking a look inside the car now notice down there there's another airbag has been deployed something that you could actually see in the pictures but you wouldn't ordinarily um, pick that out so the, the knee airbag that needs to be replaced but fortunately those are quite cheap um, so those uh, could be replaced I'm just checking to see if the car starts because it was showing as running in the picture but no the battery is completely dead there's no lights at all so um, yeah that will need to be charged so just checking the headliner to make sure that's clean we can see that the gearbox gator that's uh, well that's torn so that probably need to be replaced and also there is a um the um heat airflow that um switch is missing so we'll need one of those okay now let's take a look at the damage um that's me just checking to make sure the door's shut without any issues so there's no alignment issues we clearly can't open the boot because there's no power just taking a look at the edges there's a scratch there but I actually think that we can repair that we can get that all repaired using the smart repair person coming out so that would be fairly relatively cheap to make that car look decent and then on this side as well we can see where it, that will also benefit from repair now there's a dent that we thought we, we have seen or saw and the scratches we just saw back then they will buff out so I'm fine with them so all in all this car was um, a, a, a good option for me to go for and I actually did bid on this car unfortunately I didn't get the car because if you look at the screen now my highest bid was 750 and I was sticking to that bid I wasn't going to go over, I wasn't going to get caught up in any um, bidding wars and you can see that the car actually went for £825 okay so next car on the lot was our project car special that we were looking for so I've been looking at Golf GTIs as one of the options for my uh, project car particularly the model that we're going to see on screen now so let's take a look at the screen so as you can see we can see a 2005 Golf GTR here I like these cars I don't know why they're just good project cars to um, to work on so this car had done 147,000 miles um, so it's quite high mileage but it's a good strong engine on this so let's just take a look at the pictures and see if we can pick up anything 
on this car that would need to be repaired. The, the, the first one is pretty obvious, it needs a new front bumper. Front bumper is in a state of disrepair. Also, if you notice, one of the alloy wheels are missing in the car. So this car is down as a category S vehicle. So, um, and I checked the um, HPI report on this vehicle, so it's had no previous, so it's basically this incident here that has caused the car to be written off as a category S. Okay, browsing for the pictures, we can see that, yeah, the front bumper, you can see it's kind of hanging low here, so obviously there potentially could be some frame damage as to why it's hanging a bit lower than normal, or just the bumper where it's been hit has just come off its mounting points. Um, all the under tray here um, seems to be in place. Um, the front lip here has been damaged, potentially it's come off, the, it has these little clips that clip the uh, rubber tray here onto the top here. Um, so that looks damaging and you can actually see it's been a bit scuffed as well. Um, looking at the back, the back is absolutely fine. Is that a scratch? Potentially, we'll take a look at that when we see the car in the flesh. Internally, no airbags have gone off, which is good. Um, back seats look fine as well, all nice and clean. Engine bay, bit of a blurred picture, but you can see that None of the um, plastic trim around here has been damaged, but we need to take a look underneath that and we only, we'll only be able to see that if we purchase a car. Car is a runner and there are no lights on the door board, on the dashboard that will cause us concern other than the standard seatbelt ones and the, and the doors are open, so that's fine. And uh, that's about it really, there's nothing really more on this vehicle on the pictures so let's take a look at the car in the flesh now and see if what the pictures are showing us supports the actual vehicle in real life okay so looking at the screen now we can see the car car is really clean actually um, but notice there you can see that the bonnet has been damaged but just saw that very quickly as I walked around so I'm just walking around the car now looking to see if there are any obvious signs of damage that wasn't picked up in the picture and so far so good everything looks great let's lift up the boot oh look at that there's the wheel fantastic it means that we can use the original wheels tires flat which explains the reason why the car has had um, the um, space saver fitted on there so we've got a wheel that's a good sign we just need to make sure that the wheel is um, true now um, looking at the interior it's as we thought there's lots of documentation back here original books which is always great and there's some service um, documentation in there as well right now let's see if this car starts so i'm going to jump in push the seat back first because i've got long legs and uh, the instrument panel is lit up which is a good sign so hopefully we're just going to grab the keys now stick the keys in the ignition and hopefully the car will start nope unfortunately the car wouldn't start so battery's dead on it so I've used a booster to start it but other than that the car looks pretty straight the damage is superficial let's take a look at the legs now so we're going to lift the bonnet up Okay, so the left leg looks pretty straight. The right leg, that also looks pretty straight. I can see the legs, you can't see it so well on the camera, but the legs look straight from what I saw. Let's take a look at the damaged wheel to see if there's anything being pushed back. And that wheel looks pretty uniform. Um, again, the interior looks great, no airbags, no low airbags, the doors close fine. This is why I do, I always check the doors to make sure that they all close fine and that there's no rubbing or any friction. And I don't know, oh yes, just was wanting to check to see if it's, uh, there you are. So we've got our wheel brace kit. And the reason why I've done that is because the Corsa didn't come with a wheel brace kit. So it's all these things you pick up when you, um, from past experiences. So I always check to make sure there's a wheel brace kit in the vehicle. Okay, so looking at this car now, I'm quite happy with it because 
there's the bonnet that needs to be repaired that can be repaired so I'm okay with that none of the trim um, other than the bump bumper all the uh, trim above is all fine and doesn't need to be changed so this car is a good potential bidding car and uh, it's something that I actually put a bid in but did I win the bid let me show you the results of that auction okay so if you look at the screen now you can see the auto auction .io results and I put in a bid my highest bid that I was prepared to go on that car was 700 pounds unfortunately it sold for 850 so it's really important that you stick to your budget at all times because it could be the difference with you making a decent margin if you plan to sell the car or not if I, I was planning to keep this vehicle but I had a set budget that I was going to work with and it went above that so I let that car go don't forget there will always be another car so don't let your heart rule your head okay so let's take a look at the next car. Okay, so we come to car number three and car number three is our special car. This is the scam car. Now, why is this a scam car? Let's see if you can figure this out. So the car is a category U and let's take a look at the screen now. So if we look at the screen, we see that this car is a golf uh, match. It's a 2007 model and it's done 121,940 miles as we can see here. It's a category U. There is no information as to whether it's coming from a finance company, but if you look at the picture of the car, the car looks in great shape. So I'm gonna make an assumption that this car is a part exchange. However, it's from an independent garage rather than a main dealer. And a good clue to that is the fact that there is no finance company involved so normally if you go to like a main dealer and you're doing a part x uh, for a car and hire purchase then they take that car as part of uh, payment for the deposit if you will and the finance company will then get rid of the car or the garage will get rid of the car on behalf of the finance company and they'll pull it in through copart or someone if it has any dents on there or if any of their buyers who normally buy their stock of cars refuse the vehicle so looking at this car, it's definitely looking like an independent. So let's take a look and see if there's anything in the car that we should be aware of. So I can see immediately that there is a little patch down here. Can you see that? So there is a patch where it's had a repair. But other than that, this side of the vehicle looks pretty good. On the other side here, again, it looks pretty tidy. There's no dent, so I can see the bumper is straight, etc. So that's not hanging off. All the lines and door shuts look okay from this picture from a distance. Um, going back to the picture, you can see this little bit of oil trail here. That could be a sign that it's something from this car. I'm not sure at this stage, but the alarm bells are beginning to ring. Anything that you see that could be suspicious, take that into consideration. The fact that this is a cat you and it's been put into this um, auction. Looking at the back here, the car looks fine again all straight the bodywork looks fine there's no obvious dents or cracks etc and on this side here again the car looks okay there's these three odd things so we'll, we'll, we'll make a note of that and we'll look at the car when we go to see it live and again we can see that patch where it obviously has some rust but other than that the car looks okay interior wise car looks pretty tidy uh, back again looks very tidy nothing to report there engine bay is what it is it's dirty but it's an engine bay what do you expect um, but there's nothing in here on toward I can see although looking at the water bottle I can't quite see the line the watermark but then that's not unusual for this type of car uh, now we're looking at the lights, looking for anything unusual. We have a, a lamp out, but that's a simple replacement. Engine's running and there's no full warning lights, no airbag lights, etc. So that's a good sign. Uh, front bumper, we can see there's a little bit of crack in here and uh, that's about it. A bit of bubbling of the paint, but that's really nothing to really worry about. It just needs a, a, a little bit of um, smart repairing if you want it to be really finicky about it but other than that this is a 2007 car so you know it's a 13 year old car so you're not going to expect it to be um brilliant 
Again, the back looks fine. Um, they've got a Union Jack here, so it's aftermarket, but other than that, that's absolutely fine. If you wanted to take that off, just to uh, bring the car back to its factory setting, you could do that quite easily. And that's about it. Oh, and it's got the um, toolkit in the back as well. That's quite important, because these could be quite expensive if you can buy them second hand on eBay, etc. So I always make sure they're there, because of course I didn't come with one again. So it's always good to make sure that you that it comes with these um these toolkits. Good. So nothing more really to report about that other than to see the car in the flesh. So let's take a look at the car and let's see if is there any reason why this car is in an auction and not been sold off privately, especially if it's an independent, because independents if they find a, a good part X, they normally stick it straight back on the forecourt after a good valet. So why is this car here? Let's take a look at the video okay so let's take a look at the golf now so again looking in the interior floors dirty but not really bothered about that now the interior of the car looks great now i want to start the car and take a good look at it can you hear that that engine really tappity that is the reason why this car has been put in Copa so I'm not sure it's not a, the noise that I heard it wasn't a big end but it was certainly a valve or tap it related so I, I'm going to assume that the head that there's some issues with the head that either the cam is um, worn or that there is some other damaged cam lobes, etc., are well worn. So it's going to need some engine work. Okay, so that will be a, that's the reason why this car is here. So we're going to take a look at the car, and just walk around to see if there's anything else that we need to um, be wary about. Uh, Bodywork, all door shuts are all fine. The boot, yeah, it's okay. Nothing really wrong with that. Our kit is there. Sometimes I, I always check these, even though you see them in the picture, I do always check them because sometimes they go missing. Um, yeah, so always check them out. The marks on the side of the car were um, just stains. They weren't dents, etc. And the doors, they all shut fine. So everything about this car was absolutely fine except for the engine, which was a shame. It even had a whole lot of history and paperwork, as you can see here, um, the last MLT, etc., all the previous MLT. So the previous owner really took care, took care of the car to an extent, but unfortunately with the um, engine um, making the noise that it did, it was a no-go for me. And then looking at the screen once again, um, you can see the auto auction IO listing of the car because the car did go through the auction it got to a maximum of £375 so it would seem that everyone who came to see that car or actually who saw that car was also suspicious and that's the highest bidding that it got £375 so unfortunately for the owner the car didn't sell and is now back on coal path for sale and if anyone does their research, they will see exactly the same issue and they will probably stay away. In fact, looking at Copart now, um, there's still no bids on this car. So I don't think this car will sell, um, not for a while anyway. Someone will buy it because they won't go and view it and they'll look at it in an obvious bargain. Then they'll get a surprise when they get it. Okay, so I hope that was a valuable lesson for you in terms of the perils and pitfalls you can come across when buying Category U cars. Always good to see them in the flesh. It's funny, Category S and Ns, they're very obvious when you see the damage. So what you get is what you get. Um, but the Category U cars, unfortunately, people do dress them up or they put them through the co part because they know that people are always looking for a bargain. And if you don't have your wits about you, you could end up buying a lemon as that vehicle clearly was. Good, so next week we're going to be um, sorting out a few things on the um, Corsa before it goes into the body shop. And then the week after next, 
we are going to be looking for our new car i am looking for a project car i'm looking for something sporty that we can add bits and pieces onto it some performance parts because i think this channel needs a proper project car it's good to turn these cars over but a project car really is needed i think um to um yeah give us something to uh to to work for and also to do some product reviews which is part of what we said we're going to be doing in this channel so that will be coming up very soon so watch this space in the meantime i hope you've benefited from this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe down below because that's really important for the growth of this channel and also if you like what you see put it down in the comments but if you don't like what you see don't just give us a thumbs down tell us the reasons why because we're always keen to make things better for your viewing pleasure so anyway thank you for viewing this this week guys and we will see you next monday